A scientific paper was published that startup company Cerebra shows no competitor can do what they can do. It's not been peer reviewed though, so we'll have to take this with a grain of salt, but it's still a high level claim nonetheless. Tiernan Ray here with me, Beth Motter. Tiernan, I need you to break this down. What does this mean? That's a high level claim. Yeah, we have uh, we have claims all the time from vendors. They can do what no one else can do. Uh, it's not every day that they actually publish a paper presuming to show you that they can do what no one else can do. So this company, Cerebra Systems, is a Silicon Valley startup, and they make a dedicated computer just for AI. And they're now expanding into new kinds of work where the computer can do high-level physics simulations kind of stuff. And so recently they published a paper, which this week they presented at a conference in which they said no other computer using GPUs, graphics chips, and CPUs, no matter how many they use, can achieve the time that they achieved, which is 28 microseconds to do this complex physics problem. So they ran all these simulations, they showed how it would be on their computer, their dedicated AI machine, and how it would be on a computer using lots of Intel Xeon chips. And what they came up with was a pretty serious differential in time, on this problem, it took the Xeon machine has like 16,000 cores worth of Xeon chips took six milliseconds, that's six thousandths of a second. On their machine, it took 28 microseconds, 28 millionths of a second. So a fraction, a fraction of the time it took on the Xeon machine. And so we talked with the CEO and he said, you know, this is one example, but it doesn't matter how many chips you add and how many CPUs, how many GPUs, they'll never get down to 28 microseconds on this problem like we can. Wow, that is, that's fast. That's fast, that's super fast. Yeah, so so other than, than innovative purposes, what, what does this mean for maybe other supercomputers? Yeah, so they're making a broad argument, this company Cerebris and their argument, and it, it has some validation in amongst other people in the field is that we're used to, you know, you get more chips, you get more computing power. The problem is now we're getting into an area with scientific computing and with AI, especially where you add more chips, you get diminishing returns. So if you multiply by a thousand times the number of chips, you don't get a thousand times the computing performance. And the reason comes down to data. Every time you add more chips, you have to get data into those chips. It has to come off of memory. It has to go over copper wires from the chip to the motherboard. And you start to get this problem where you have lots of powerful chips and they're waiting on data. They're going back and forth to DRAM off chip. Cerebrus is saying, it doesn't matter how many chips you build out, that's not the solution. You have to start to deal with the fact that you have a memory lag that is the issue. You have to spend time going back and forth to memory. Uh, otherwise these chips are just sitting idle. So that's the kind of theoretical argument they're putting forward is you just add more chips, you have more chips sitting idle waiting for data. So I would say that um, you know this is going to continue to push the boundaries of companies adding things uh, like fast interconnections. We saw that NVIDIA bought this company Mellanox a year ago or so to add what's called InfiniBand networking. The next thing up from startups like Iyer Labs, another Silicon Valley startup is Photonics where the chips are not connected over copper wires. They're actually connected over fiber optic cable. Uh, and so this is gonna continue to push an investment in moving data fast. Uh, and we're going to see that as these chips uh, continue to compete and systems continue to compete, there's going to be more and more impetus to try and develop new kinds of fast uh, networking, fast interconnect to try and solve this problem that you just run up against the data issue in all of these applications. It's always been a competitive field, but I feel like it's just going to take that next step up if this claim turns out to be real. Thank you, Tiernan. Well thought out, well explained. And for all things supercomputers and AI, be sure to stick with ZDNet. Thank you.